Hi, Water Signs. Mary here with Leo Sunlight Insight here to do your bonus love reading for the end of May through June. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you are returning, uh, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you, thank you for stopping by and supporting and watching. It's greatly appreciated. And if you're new, thank you so much for clicking on and watching. And I hope you enjoy this. I hope it resonates for you. So thank you so much for checking me out. And you can check the description box below if I resonate with you, you like my style. Everything you need to know is in the description box, so please take the time to check that out. Be greatly appreciated. Just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Um, thank you for all your support. Thank you, thank you. To those who have tipped or donated and blessed me with an exchange of energy uh, towards the channels, greatly appreciated. And those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much. And again, if you're new, all that information is below. Decks I'm using, anything you need to know is down there, so please do go check it out. As with any reading, only takes what take what resonates, throw away the rest, including signs mentioned. Um, and just letting you know that if I see nonsense comments or negative comments, I will delete them. So I don't really tolerate that. Um, if it's not resonating for you, don't leave me a big long description how it doesn't resonate because obviously it's not a message for you. So I'll uh, probably will delete it <laughs> so <laughs> just letting you know that ahead of time but I'm hoping this resonates for you and I'm hoping you connect with me and you like my energy and you'll come back and um, if you're new do uh, like share subscribe comment hit the bell you'll be notified when I post a new reading share 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 and if you do like these bonus readings uh, do like and share them because they don't seem to be, be very popular not like my um, individual Zodiac uh, readings. So I'm thinking of discontinuing these, but if they do get more likes and views and shares and that sort of thing, and people seem to enjoy them, I'll continue doing them. So it depends how, uh, this is my last element um, for the love readings, and then I'll be doing my Zodiac general readings coming up. And after that, I do sort of like a general bonus reading in the same fashion. So depending how this, round of uh, love bonus goes and then the next general bonus goes um i may discontinue them but do let me know if you like them you know like i said like share uh it would really help it out so thank you so much for that um okay we'll get started here so if you want to speed up the reading you can go into the uh, settings and speed it up to twice as fast and i guess sound ridiculous like mickey mouse mini mouse whatever that's totally fine <laughs> So we have three oracles here. So we'll have a general collective uh, message for all the water signs and then Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces each have their own individual. And each little mini reading will have one oracle, one card from each oracle and then five tarot cards. So I will timestamp. So you can go to whatever reading you wanna watch. You can watch the whole thing. You can do whatever you want. And you may even find that if your uh, signs messages don't resonate for you another signs may and that help happens a lot especially if you have more than one water sign in your chart so that's up to you so at this point here all the decks have been pre shuffle cut meditate on off camera i will shuffle now more on camera and get all the cards ready and then from there i will timestamp. so if you want to watch the shuffling and how i draw the cards you're more than welcome to watch if not go directly to your timestamp and watch your signs reading so if you do that, just thank you so much for stopping by and watching, and I hope your reading resonates for you. Okay, so let's get going here. Let's pick these cards. Let's get the messages most needed for the water signs. Start with this oracle here. All right, so can we get messages here most needed for the water signs? The General Collective, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that's it, get one for Scorpio, and then we need okay. one for Pisces, one for Pisces, please, thank you, wow, well, that one's meant for Pisces, that one's flying right there, all right, Let's get one of these for each messages most needed. 
for the bonus love reading, end of May through June, for the war signs, general collective, and then Cancer Scorpio Pisces. All right, one more. Thank you. All right, some messages now for the water signs, for the general collective, and then Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Can we get some messages most needed? Please, Spirit, thank you so much. Sometimes I take flyers, sometimes if they poke out, I take those, whatever I'm led to do. All right, so let's get some of these. So we have the Lover's Oracle, we have the Gaia Oracle, and this is called the Guardian Angel Oracle. And then I didn't know which deck to use, and Spirit led me to this deck, and then I'm like, oh, that's the Oceanic Tarot. Well, how appropriate is that for the water signs? So thank you, Spirit. All right, so messages most needed for the water signs for their bonus of reading. One, two, three, four. All right, so now I usually do three tarot with these uh, type of readings, but Spirit has been leading me to use more, and then the last few readings I did, it was six, and then it was five, uh, no, four, and now they're telling me five, so five cards apiece for the water signs. The tarot, get more clarification for the water signs. This is such a pretty deck. If you have not seen it before, I absolutely love this deck. I think I'll have to shuffle this way. So I'm going to need five tarot cards a piece. So there's one for the water signs. Can we have four more for the general collective, please? Four more for the general collective. Three more. Oops, three more. Three more. Three more. Water sign. It's collective. It's three. I need two more. Oh, it has said bottom and top. Okay. All right. Cancer. Five cards for cancer. Five cards for cancer, please. One, two, three. All right, and tell me to take from the top. Okay. Scorpio. Wow, Scorpio. Well. <laughs> one, two, three. So those are your cards. Five. And this one over here. I think some of these are going to be reversed, and I don't usually purposely put um, reversals in my deck, but uh, if they fall reversed, then I'm sure I have five here. Okay. All right, so let's get started here. So 855 for the General Collective. So let's see what we have. For the general collective reading for all the water signs. See if this resonates for you. We'll do your oracle messages first, and then we'll do your tarot. So we have manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So you could be manifesting new love into your life, somebody that you, you dream of, you desire of, somebody um, you feel is the perfect fit for you is what I'm hearing. So you could be using law of attraction and manifesting this person into your life, following your gut, your intuition, your higher self in knowing, doing what you think is best for the situation. And then we have night wind, facing fear, subconscious release and healing. And 23, and that equals five, which is about 
big change. So you might have gone through something in the past here. Um, it was a deep dark fears that you had, uh, but you released and healed from this darkness in your past. I'm getting like a very dark energy from uh, the past, but you released it, you faced it, you released it, and you healed from it. And now you're manifesting somebody new into your life. Going through a big change, or you went through a big change. Wow. For some of you water signs. And then we have protection. So, in this card here, it had said to trust your heart and cont continue to follow its guidance in your manifesting. And the universe sees that, they hear that, and they help you. And here is the universe telling you that you are protected this union, this person, this connection is divinely protected, protecting you in every way. And we have uh, blue here, which I believe is about communication. This deck is a little different. It's called a guardian angel um, deck. And I believe... Uh, Yes, truth and justice, communication, and that sort of thing. So they hear, it's about truth, clarity, you know, communication. So they hear your prayers, your manifestations, and they are protecting you. They're protecting the connection. They're protecting your person here. They know what you've been through. They've seen what you've been through. It's lessons that you had to learn, unfortunately, but you've always been heavily protected here by your guardian angels and they're protecting you in this big change as you move forward manifesting this new person for some of you water signs okay so let's see we have the six of swords in reverse we have the nine of wands we have the wheel of fortune we have the lovers we have judgment wow so so we have let's see do, do, do. Okay, so we have the Six of Swords in reverse, calm. So I feel like whatever you've been in the past, because this is uh, leaving things behind and going into a more calmful, peaceful, healing place, but in reverse, there's been some uh, delays in that happening. So maybe, you know, with what you've been through in the past, um, it took a while to move out of that situation into this new beginning, this new life that you have. I feel like you have done that. It just took a little longer and there were some setbacks where you couldn't move away as quickly or as soon as you wanted to. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And then we have the Nine of Wands. So this is Fire, Leo, Sag, Aries. So this is being the wounded warrior. This is uh, putting up a hard fight. This is standing your ground. Um, you know, you've been through the battle, but you're still willing to fight on, persevere on. So you've been through it here in the past, I feel, but you're still strong, strong-willed, and you have that courage and inner strength to just move on and do what you need to do. And that's exactly what you did. Um, you know, it took longer, like I said, with the Six of Swords than you wanted it to, but you were able to move on and defend yourself and fight through it. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. So things turning in your favor. Better timing, better luck, fate, destiny, uh, fortune. Just things moving in the right direction. Going with the flow in this new direction that you went in. And having better luck and timing, uh, fate, destiny on your side with the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius energy. And then you have the Judgment and the Lovers. And the Lovers is Gemini. And Judgment is Scorpio. So you could be a Scorpio, since this is the only water sign here, or it doesn't have to be. Um, but we do have Gemini, and then we have the swords over here. So you could have been dealing with the Gemini, um, but the Lovers talks about decisions, um, options, having to choose between maybe two people, or having to make a decision about somebody that is a potential lover or a soulmate. To me, the Lovers is a soulmate card also. And this is judgment. So this is forgiveness. So I feel like, you know, you forgave whatever situation, whatever darkness you were in the past. You forgave that. 
you finally made that judgment call just to forgive and move on. This can talk about resurrection. Whether or not you resurrected things with this person and things turned for the better and now um, things are better between you. Um, I know only you know that. So however it resonates for you, either you left it behind and moved on or things turned around and things are better now with you and this person. I don't know, but um, you could have made a final judgment call to leave that behind and move on with somebody new. Finally making that final decision, that final judgment. This is this new person is the person for you. Could be your soulmate. Divinely guided here with judgment. It's like the final judgment from the heavens. This is your soulmate. So it's either somebody new or like I said, um, forgiving and resurrecting something with somebody else you thought... Um, you might have to leave because of the situation because you have that very dark energy at the beginning so two stories there however it resonates for you but I do see things going in a better direction for you and a soulmate here so better luck and things moving in the right direction Okay, so that was the general collective water sign message. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it uh, resonated for you in some way. Um, so we'll move on to Cancer now. So Cancer, what do we have for Cancer? We will do your oracles first, bonus love reading, end of May through June. We have, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So Cancer, there may be time to take a break, step back, take some time for yourself to reevaluate your connection, relationship, whatever it is for you or how you're thinking and feeling about love. Now is the time to just uh, focus on you right now for some reason, Cancer. And then we have Ganesha, 31. Clearing away obstacles, protection, and guidance. So this is divine energy. 31, stability, structure, the basis, the foundation. So I feel like you're taking a step back. You're working on yourself. You're rebuilding your, your foundation, your basis, your structure. You know, re-evaluating whatever situation you're in. Uh, what do you need to do? What needs to be done? Because um, you, you are also number four. Confirming this number four here about the stability of the situation here but divine here is helping you to clear away obstacles no longer serving you whether it's uh, thoughts in your mind uh, things not serving this connection or just yourself in general here divine is helping you with that you're divinely protected your connection is probably uh, divinely connected and protected and they're trying to give you guidance also I feel to spend some time alone and work on you because it's divinely guided, protected, and they're helping you here. Divine is helping you. Peace. So, you know, finding inner harmony, balance, peace. Maybe you need to take a step back for some reason. Find your inner balance, your peace, your harmony um, to sustain the uh, stability of this relationship in some way, however that means for you. So, you know, this is very um, pure here, energy. So coming from a pure, peaceful place. All right, so let's see what your tarot has to say. So we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Three of Pentacles. Wow, a lot of pentacle energy here. King of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Definitely could be dealing with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And then we have wands, Aries, Leo, Aries, Leo, and Sag. And then we have swords, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So, but you have heavy pentacle energy here. They could have it in their chart. You could have it in their chart. Uh, you could have it in your chart or they could have it in their chart, however it works for you. <clears throat> so here is the confirmation here with the four of swords energy here. This is spending time alone, recuperating, rejuvenating, resting, relaxing, healing energy, thinking, contemplating, just taking a break on your own. And that's con and that is confirming this, to take a step back, 
spend time alone and give time to yourself and that is the four of swords energy so spirit confirming that so thank you spirit so there's a definite need to do that find your inner peace and sanctuary so I feel like with the Ten of Wands, energy, responsibility, maybe, you know, it's not even anything to do with your connection. Maybe it's just your life in general. You have a lot of responsibility and you're feeling overworked, overburdened by work, people, places, things around you. Maybe it's affecting your relationship. So maybe you need to step back and think, what do I need to release and let go? These of what burdens you need to let go of that is what responsibility that you can give to somebody else so you don't have so much on your plate so it'll bring a more peaceful harmonious balance to you and your relationship because the ten of wands here speaks of responsibility so i feel like you have too much responsibility in some way shape or form in your life and you need to take a step back here and think about your own stability you know your own structure in your uh, relationship releasing some of those burdens and then you have all this pentacle energy you have the knight and the king of pentacles and the three of pentacles so you have an energy here yeah reaching out to other people this is collaboration cooperation teamwork working together here so maybe you need to get some help and assistance from friends, family around you, whatever your situation is here, ask for cooperation, collaboration, whatever it means for you, teamwork, so you don't have so much burden on your plate here. This is people working together. People need to help you and work together with you so you can release some of these burdens. And you definitely need to take some time to rest and recuperate so you don't get run down because 10 is also the number of a completion. So you don't want to get to that point of being totally run down and just down for the count. So you now you have the knight and the king of pentacles. So the knight, the pentacles, uh, very slow energy. They're secure, stable, and grounded. Um, so I, I'm just getting here. You need to slow down because knight uh, pentacles are very, very slow energy. So the Knight of Pentacles, that's had action and movement, but the Pentacle, he barely moves. He's very analytical, he's smart, he's decisive, he uh, thinks about what he's doing, um, he makes sure everything he's doing, every step he's going in is the right step, very um, analytical um, type of energy. So I think you really need to think about here with the Knight of Pentacles, what you really need to have responsibi responsibility of and what you don't. You need to slow down. King of Pentacles, so you can regain your stability, where you can be that strong, structured person again, stable, confident, grounded um, energy here. Have trust in other people is what I'm getting. They have trust here and loyalty. You do have people loyal around you that you can trust to help you collaborate, teamwork with you, to release burdens because you need some deep rest and it's affecting your um, relationship, I feel. Maybe you're just overworking too much or it could just be pentacles are about work or it could just be every day things in life also. So however that resonates for you. So I see you slowing down here and regaining your stability in your uh, foundation here by asking for help from others to release burdens and rest, 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 rest. And you're divinely protected. You need your inner peace and sanctuary. Definitely. Okay, Cancer, I hope that resonated for you. If it did, please do like, share, subscribe. Um, hit the bell to be notified when I post new readings. Um, thank you so much for watching and good luck to you and sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, to so always, always shine your lights. Okay, Scorpio 2445. Scorpio, let's see what we have for Scorpio now. 
We'll do your oracle messages first, and then we'll do your tarot. In love, end of May through June. We have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together, and remember, life, love is the greatest healer. So playful. That's you know, being more lighthearted, playful, flirty, um, being in that fun energy, taking things not so seriously. And then you have thinking of you, a loving thought, serendipity, number 29, which is 11. To me, 11 is always half of the twin flame number. So you could be dealing um, with the twin flame here because look at this energy of the sun sun energy fire flame serendipity brings twin flames together sometimes so i'm just getting energy here of uh fire passion uh, having deep thoughts about somebody wanting to have a light-hearted energy with them playful energy with them thinking of them in a loving loving way passionate way and hoping serendipity brings you together. If you know or you don't know this person, or maybe you're thinking of what kind of person you want to have in your life in the future, however that resonates for you. But nine and two is 11, and 11 and two, two people coming together, making decisions. And then we have creativity. So I'm feeling, you know, you may be thinking of somebody and wanting to be in a mo more lighthearted, playful energy and you can do that through creativity. So if there are things that you enjoy, artistic things, uh, whatever they are for you, concentrate on you, do the things you love and enjoy, whether they're playful things, creative things. Um, it's like being in that high vibration and using the law of attraction and manifesting this person into your life. Doing things you're very passionate about that you just love doing gives you a natural high she's just floating in mid-air here with her paintbrush so <laughs> painting in the sky painting her passion in the sky <laughs> all right so let's see what your tarot has to say we have the fool new beginning we have the tower oh we have the four of pentacles and then we have the chariot and then we have the world. Wow, Scorpio, what the heck? You have a lot of <laughs> holding back but wanting to move forward. Ending cycles out. Oh, you had a big tower moment in the past, perhaps. Wow, you'll get a lot going on here, Scorpio. So we have Aries, we have Aquarius, we have uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, we have Cancer. Now we have Earth energy. <sighs> Capricorn, or to me that's Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn with the world, that's Earth, you know. So, well, let me take a look at these now. All right, so I feel like with the Four of Pentacles in the Tower, you know, you may have been through things and gone through things in the past here, had some destruction, tower moments here, that maybe for a while you just kind of kept to yourself, you stayed safe in your security, uh, and your stability, you held back, you just kind of was a loner, um, very independent, just kept to yourself, you know, you didn't want to have another tower moment here, but now you're starting to feel playful again, so maybe you met somebody that was like serendipity here, and brought this playful, creative, passionate desire back into your life, after whatever this was that you went through in the past, I'm getting like four years ago, and maybe it was with an earth sign. I don't know. And you know, here's the world with closing out cycles. So maybe you closed out a cycle here with an earth sign from the past. Um, Virgo, Taurus, a Capricorn, or maybe a Capricorn. You know, closed out those cycles. And you know, it took a while with the Four of Pentacles. Very slow, slow energy. It took a long time for you to completely close out that cycle close out that cycle and start a new cycle in life because of what you've been through you kind of held back and kept to yourself and but you finally closed out that cycle finally closed it out went through the wormhole here 
and came out the other side ready to start a new cycle because you have the full energy. So now you went through that wormhole, you went through that cycle, you're jumping right in now like a fool in the new cycle here and rushing forward, moving forward. A lot of passion and movement because you did have passion here. I feel with this card, playfulness, uh, creativity, doing what you love. So moving forward in life here for a new beginning, taking that movement forward. Balancing out your energy, being successful, ambitious, a lot of passionate energy. So, like I said, you could be using sort of like now you're in a higher vibration. Maybe you did meet somebody or you're hoping to meet somebody. So you're in a very high vibration now using whether you know it or not, the law of attraction, manifesting in a way here by doing you being passionate, fiery, playful, create, creative, and a new zest for life, you're probably going to bring in your twin flame or soulmate if you have not met them already. Well, Scorpio, good for you. Good for you for moving on finally, starting a new chapter. All right, so I hope that resonated for you, Scorpio. And I just noticed here, I mean, you have the chariot, and you're number eight, and that is about action, movement, communication, travel. So you're definitely moving on, moving forward finally after being stagnant, after a big tower moment from the past. You're ready for a whole new world, jumping in and moving forward quickly. All right, and in the meantime, you're going to find happiness and joy with the sun energy and possibly bring in your soulmate twin flame energy. Serendipity. All right, Scorpio, if you did like that and it resonated for you, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, and hit the bell. Be greatly appreciated. And best of luck to you. Thank you for watching and sending you much light, love, and blessings. And as and I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light. All right, let's move on to Pisces. Pisces, what do we have for Pisces for the end of May through June? Do your oracles first. We have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. Okay, so something needs time. I don't know what it is yet, but you need to give something. Uh, you need to have patience. And you're trying too hard. Just give it up to divine, divine timing. Um, sort of like the Wheel of Fortune. Just kind of, you know, give it up to the divine, divine timing. Don't try so hard. Have patience and faith, hope and optimism that all will be fine in time. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have number 21. It, that is so funny because you're number 12. I don't know if you can see that. And then you have this card, which is 21. Wow. So I think this card is meant for you. So we have remembrance, resurfacing of past feelings and emotions. Okay, so this is Oh, thinking of things from the past, things you've been through, and letting them come back into your mind, your space, letting them take over your energy again, and feeling all those emotions and feelings and things of the past, whether they're good or bad, having those resurfacing feelings and emotions. It's kind of a dark energy to me. It's not a very bright card. So maybe it's negative things you're thinking about. I don't know. But, I mean, there is sunshine behind you here. So, you know, you need to think of the good times, too, not just the bad times. Then we have knowledge here. So this, to me, is almost like the high priestess, and the Pisces energy is the high priestess. Uh, but this is inner knowing, trusting, trusting in time. And your knowing, um, your intuition, your inner self, your divine guidance, trusting in your spirit guides, angels, your spirit team, messages you're getting. Because you see this man has a book here, this angel. So just trusting in everything you know, everything you've learned from the past, though you may have uh, resurfacing things that you think about whether good or bad but all those lessons you've learned you have that knowledge now 
of all those lessons that you've learned. And this is the heart chakra. So this affects your heart. It affected your heart. You know, you might have been through a heartbreak here. And, you know, you've learned your lessons. You know, you know what you know now. You still remember good and bad times. But in time, I think you will heal in time, move on in time. That's kind of what I'm getting. So let's see what your tarot has to say, Pisces. Well, wow, did I not just say the high priest... This is the high priest, but it's kind of like the high priestess. The high priest. So you definitely could have been married. This is Taurus. This is about faith, commitment, spirituality, um, marriage with the high priest. We have the ace of swords. We have justice. Okay. All right. The two of cups and then the three of cups in reverse. So. All right. So. Okay, so this is what I'm getting. This was, if you were married, you know, two people in a marriage here, partnership, and the high priest. But there was some big truths, epiphanies here. Uh, this does say victory, but this also, sword can cut away things no longer serving you, as in with the justice card here. So having, you know, the cups of your energy, uh, is the water energy cancer scorpio pisces and then you have gemini um libra aquarius libra and then you have the water energy again the three of cups in reverse so this is what i'm feeling i'm feeling this was a partnership this was a marriage a long-term commitment of some kind there was some kind of truth uh here clarity on your partnership your situation so either you balance things out over time and now it's in a more uh, victorious place. There's been healing. There's been uh, open, honest, cut communication. There's been balancing of the scales, serving of justice, writings of wrongs, having that victory, victory in this partnership. But you have the three of cups in reverse. So... Whether or not this was a third party situation and this person finally cut that other person out and now things are more balanced between the two of you or there could have been a third party here and this could be a divorce and there's no chance of you reuniting with this person whatsoever. I have two stories here. So whatever resonates for you, I feel like some of you heal the situation the other person cut out the third party now there's a more balanced um justified energy between the two of you it's victorious now it's a loving partnership now it healed over time you know so knowledge here so somebody found out about the situation here you know and brought up a lot of sad hurtful emotions here with this card but in time, you know, probably could have healed or this could be a divorce and there's no chance of reuniting with this person. So I don't know. I guess you take however that resonates for you, Pisces. I don't, I, I'm feeling drawn to draw a couple more cards for you, Pisces, just to see what exactly is going on here. Uh, I don't usually do that, but... I feel like I um, need more clarification about what's going on here. To me, it's kind of clear that it once was a loving union, marriage or something here. But something happened with third party. But they did cut that person out. But for some reason, either you just decided to divorce them anyway. Or the scales were balanced and there was healing. And now uh, it's a more committed partnership. Two, two stories there, so I don't know, are there any other messages for Pisces in this, can we clarify more with Pisces okay that went flying on the floor alright, so I don't know if this was upright or if it was um 
right side up. I don't know. I just picked it up and it's uh, upside down. So we have the Five of Pentacles, Earth Energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and that speaks of abandonment, being left out in the cold, uh, you know, just being abandoned. So it was in reverse, though. So no longer feeling, you know, maybe you left this person out in the cold if they did something, cheated on you. But now the Five of Pentacles, you're no longer out in the cold, you know, coming in from that energy. So for some of you, I mean, you might have reconnected with this person and worked things out. For some of you, I think you might have got, gotten a divorce. So I don't know. I, I'm still getting you take whatever um, story resonates for you here. Let's see if we can get anything else. Anything else for Pisces? else for Pisces. And I don't think so. What do we have here? Ace of Cups. So this is brand new, but uh, you know, it doesn't have to be. It just could be, you know, reconnecting with this person and having love again and having like a whole new beginning with this person. Or you moved on to somebody new. I feel like you either, because you have two, usually the aces are brand new. It's something brand new. So for some of you, I think maybe you sort of had a brand new beginning, uh, sort of like with this person, or you moved on from them and now you have two brand new beginnings here, more loving, committed relationship here, probably with a soulmate meant for you, a lot of truth, honesty, and clarity here. Somebody was very trustworthy, honest, sincere, uh, noble, that probably wouldn't do whatever this person did. So those two messages, Pisces, you take what resonates. Um, like I said, uh, take what, whatever resonates for you, Pisces. Okay. <laughs> so Sorry, I'm repeating myself. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If it did resonate for you, please comment below. Let me know what story line resonated for you. Um, we're getting like two stories there. And uh, if you do like how I read, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. Um, best of luck to you, whatever your situation is here. And sending you much light, love, and blessings. And I hope to see you next time. And as I always say with my channel, to always shine your light.